what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? We got another entanglement. This time, a dude comes home to find his best friend smashing his girl. How do you even muster up enough courage, enough gall to smash your best friend's girl? I ain't talking about an associate, some dude you know. I'm saying your best friend's girl. And check out what this fool says. When dude gets approached by his best friend, he says, well, man, you know, well, actually the best friend says, you know, I could have, I could have did the same thing to Courtney. I guess Courtney is his girl, the other guy's girl. And dude's like, well, man, for all I know, you did. I don't know that. You know, like, come on, man. Come on, man. This is one of those situations where it's best that you find out now than when you're like, you know, in your 40s or 50s and that kid starts looking more and more like you. You've just been looking at that kid for like 20 years. You know, and you're like, damn, what well, this kid, this kid really looks like John John. <laughs> you dig what I'm saying? So it's best that he find out now. This is a chick that belongs to the streets. And something tells me that he had a red flag and he ignored it. Something told him that wasn't a red flag. That was a green light and he smashed the gas. Here's a crazy thing. As I'm watching dude in the bed, and I'll put a link in the description to the video. I'm watching dude in the bed, and he has his legs underneath. He's sitting up in the bed with his legs underneath him. And Ain't like a, the chick ain't underneath him or nothing. You know, the chick is in another room. Why is a man sitting in bed like that? Legs folded. And he got his naked ass on his homeboy's sheets, wrapped around his homeboy's sheets. So this dude been coming home all that time. Land on the pillows, wrapped in the sheets, smelling his homeboy's nuts. That ain't right, man. That alone requires immediate retribution. Oh, man. This is one of those situations, man, where you just pray if you ever caught, it, caught up like that, that you don't do anything to mess your life off, right? Whatever you do, you want to make sure you come out on top because in this situation, you're the victim. So you don't want to be victimized twice. You don't want to be victimized by your friend and then victimize yourself with uh, an erroneous act. You know, like going crazy and losing your mind. And now you done perhaps killed her, killed him. And now you sitting in jail for a gang of years behind two people who ain't nothing and definitely didn't deserve to be in your life. So I know it's hard because we all humans and we got emotions. And, you know, we... You know, we invest a lot in relationships, you know, especially romantic relationships. It's a lot invested in that. You got to give a lot. It's a lot of trust involved there. And when somebody betrayed that trust, you know, it makes you angry and it can infuriate you to the point 
where you want to, you know, do something really, really bad to somebody. But ask yourself before you do that, you know. And I think in these type of situations, you have to really think about what you would do in this type of situation should you ever be in this type of situation. You can't just automatically think that something like this can't happen to you. Don't ever think that you're above that. I don't care how player you are. I don't care how good your sex are, is. I don't care how dangerous you are and how afraid you may think your girl is of you. It can happen to you. So you have to think about if it did happen to you, how do you come out on top? What are you willing to do? What actions are you willing to take that you can actually live with? You see? That's the way I look at it. But man, this is a hard one right here. It would be hard to just walk out of that door and, you know, not at least, you know, get at least a lick in or something. It'd be, it'd be very hard to do, you know, like, ooh-wee, man. That's a tough one right there. Your best friend blowing your girl's back out? Damn. That's cold-blooded. I don't know who the chick was or the best friend with his meat on the sheets. But whoever you are, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about?